Some of them appeared to remain stationary in winds aloft, move against the wind, maneuver abruptly, or move at considerable speed without discernible means of propulsion. Unusual vectors, speed, being able to hover and move. Above the clouds, there is a secret realm of military aviation that most people never see. It is where the U.S. military tests its most advanced and secretive aircraft, pushing the boundaries of technology and innovation. These mystery planes have fascinated and puzzled the public for decades as they've carried out missions that range from espionage to space exploration. Some of these planes are so classified that their existence is only revealed years after they have flown. These planes represent the cutting edge of aerospace engineering, and they often challenge the conventional wisdom of aerodynamics, stealth, and propulsion. They are the pride and the secret weapons of the U.S. military. Join us as we discuss how anti-graft aircraft will reshape war forever. Before we go into details, we first need to explain what an anti-graft aircraft is. An anti-gravity aircraft is a type of aircraft that can fly without using the conventional forces of lift and thrust. Instead, it uses a propulsion system that manipulates the vacuum of space to create a field of anti-gravity around the aircraft. This allows the aircraft to move at extreme speeds and perform rapid maneuvers in any direction. There are different theories and designs for how an anti-gravity aircraft works, but one of the most popular and controversial ones is the TR-3B, also known as the Black Manta. Nestled in the heart of California's Antelope Valley, a sprawling 300-acre expanse situated between the cities of Palmdale and Lancaster lies a region of significant strategic importance to the U.S. defense industry. Over the years, this area has evolved into a critical nexus of military and governmental facilities, playing host to a formidable array of institutions, including the U.S. Air Force's 42nd plan, the Secretive Skunk Works Division, aerospace giants like Northrop Grumman and Boeing, and NASA's esteemed Armstrong Flight Research Center. Close to Antelope Valley, one can find Edwards Air Force Base, the expansive U.S. Naval Base at China Lake, and the famously clandestine Groom Lake site, which exerts an enduring allure over those intrigued by covert projects and unexplained phenomena. At the center of it all, there have been mentions of the TR-3, a strange aircraft often referred to as the Black Manta. This hypersonic spy plane is the subject of persistent rumors and speculation, with claims suggesting it was jointly developed by the U.S. Air Force and Northrop, the same powerhouse responsible for crafting the iconic B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. Some sources even claim that the TR-3 is an integral component of larger initiatives like Astra Aurora or the SR-91, which are expected to be the successors of the legendary Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft. However, delving deeper into the classified information surrounding these projects, it becomes increasingly clear that the TR-3A came before the Aurora. Unlike the Aurora, which has prominent wing extensions, the TR-3A is designed with enhanced stealth features, resulting in a sleek black triangle. It also has a special polymer coating that absorbs radar waves and uses advanced electronic warfare systems. The aircraft had a unique ability to change how it looked on radar. It could disguise itself as a simple cylinder or a tiny speck in the sky. The most intriguing secret of this aircraft was what made it fly. Some speculated that it ran on a nuclear-powered system that used high-pressure mercury to create plasma. This plasma generated a near-perfect anti-gravity field around the plane, making it 89% lighter than normal. Some experts offered more details, mentioning a device called a magnetic field disruptor, a ring filled with plasma that could bend gravity. This device was way ahead of its time, using technology we could hardly comprehend. The plane's plasma, cooled to a frosty 150 Kelvin, was pressurized to an astounding 250,000 atmospheres. The plasma spun at a dizzying 50,000 rotations per minute, giving the plane the ability to defy gravity.
the plane's movements were also astonishing. It had conventional thrusters at both ends, allowing it to zip through the air in any direction at speeds of up to Mach 9. The only thing that could stop this plane was the human factor, the pilot's physical limits. This triangular wonder was not only seen in the United States. In the early 1990s, witnesses in Belgium captured images of a mysterious craft with four bright lights that many mistook for a UFO, but it was probably the Black Manta. Some evidence suggests that this spy drone was used in the Gulf War, providing laser guidance for Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk bombers, helping them drop laser-guided bombs with accuracy. Some thought that this odd aircraft was an experimental project, a precursor to the B-2 Spirit. It served as a platform for testing aerodynamic concepts with the aim of enhancing the performance of the future bomber. It's worth mentioning that both of these planes were designed by Northrop, but the investment in the Black Manta was significant, even when compared to the enormously expensive Spirit, which cost more than $3 billion at the time. The TR-3A is credited with a range of technologies, some of which seem like science fiction even today. These include super-strong, long-range combat lasers, the ability to affect weather conditions within a certain area, and the use of alien technologies at the core of its design. As mentioned earlier, some of the things being said may seem quite unscientific. While the TR-3A story revolves around a grounded and stealthy surveillance platform designed to work alongside the F-117, the TR-3B claims take a rather unusual twist. The TR-3BE unlike its turbojet-powered counterpart, is said to be powered by a reverse-engineered anti-gravity propulsion system allegedly recovered from a crashed alien spacecraft. This is where stories of unexplained aerial phenomena performing seemingly impossible maneuvers intersect with accounts of very real aircraft. Many narratives regarding the development of the TR-3B are tied to Operation Paperclip, after World War II, the United States brought in around 1,500 German scientists and engineers to continue researching various defense technologies in the post-war era. Myths about advanced Nazi technologies emerged, and the folklore surrounding this anti-gravity platform became intertwined with claims of underestimation. However, there is no official confirmation or evidence that the TR-3B exists or that it uses anti-gravity technology. Some skeptics claim that the TR-3B is a hoax or a misidentification of another aircraft or natural phenomena. Interestingly, Lockheed Martin holds a patent for compact cold fusion reactors that they suggest could be small enough to fit within the fuselage of an F-16 aircraft. However, there's more to this story. Some of the most extreme and, to some, seemingly implausible features of the TR-3B could be linked to the work of a specific aerospace expert believed to be associated with the U.S. Space Force. In 2020, the U.S. Navy garnered attention for filing a series of unconventional patents. These patents covered a range of innovations, from gravitational wave generators to space-time modification weaponry and they all shared a common name, Dr. Salvador Cesar Pace. Dr. Pace has an impressive background, including stints as a NASA Graduate Research Fellow, Advanced Concepts Analyst with Northrop Grumman, and work with the Department of the Navy Strategic Systems Program, as noted in his official biography. According to current rumors, he is believed to be a member of the United States Space Force. Records show that the Navy has invested at least $466,000 in Dr. Pace's work since 2017. Some of this work has become publicly known through three patents filed by the Navy. The first patent, titled Craft Using an Inertial Mass Reduction Device, was granted in 2016. What makes these patents noteworthy is their public availability which is unusual given the historical tendency of the U.S. military to keep such patents secret since the Secrecy Act of 1951. However, these patents do not explain why the U.S. reportedly possessed this technology back in the 1990s, 
Also, it's unclear whether these concepts have been translated into physical technology. Supporters of these ideas argue that the U.S. has been researching these systems for many years and might be revealing their efforts through patents as a proactive measure against foreign programs, like China's, which is believed to be close to a significant breakthrough or for some form of public disclosure. Salvatore Pace's work shows promise for groundbreaking advancements, but currently there isn't enough evidence to confirm his claims or demonstrate the functionality of his patents within the scientific community. Naturally, he has his critics. Moving to other renowned American stealth aircraft, the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit stands out. The Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk played a crucial role, without which the B-2 Spirit might have remained only a concept on paper. The construction of this aircraft was so secretive that even some high-ranking Pentagon officials were unaware of its existence. The intrigue surrounding the F-117 Nighthawk gave rise to fascinating stories, leading to the creation of myths surrounding the F-19 stealth fighter. This resulted from a limited understanding of the jet and eyewitness accounts of unusual sky sightings. It was often considered a non-existent fifth-generation aircraft and even appeared in model kits like the Rebel Monogram. Then, in the summer of 1986, a real Nighthawk aircraft crashed in California, adding even more intrigue to the story. Many media outlets used a hobby store model labeled F-19 to depict what the downed plane might have looked like. This naturally sparked greater interest in the enigmatic F-19. Surprisingly, following these events, Congressman Ron Wyden decided to inquire with Lockheed officials about why an aircraft so shrouded in secrecy that even members of Congress were unaware of it was being widely sold as a model airplane. When the F-117 was finally unveiled in the fall of 1988, any notion that it was the same as the F-19 model disappeared. The decision to use the misleading designation F-117 with F denoting fighter is believed to have been deliberate. It was done to conceal the true purpose of the future American aircraft from the Soviet Union. During Operation Desert Storm, stealth aircraft completed remarkable achievements. They logged over 6,900 flight hours, carried out 1,300 missions, and destroyed more than 1,600 targets. However, the only F-117 shot down was in Serbia during the spring of 1999 when enemy radar detected it as it opened its bomb bay doors to release its payload during the NATO conflict in Kosovo. Fortunately, the pilot safely ejected and was rescued. The cockpit canopy, helmet, and ejection seat of the Nighthawk are now on display in a war museum in Belgrade. Additionally, when an F-117 crashed in the People's Republic of China, they approached Yugoslav authorities to seek access to the wreckage. This allowed them to examine the engine nozzle's guidance system and various heat-resistant components. According to the former chief of Croatia's military headquarters, agents from the People's Republic of China extensively investigated the crash site visited by the Americans. In their quest to uncover the secrets of stealth technology, some even resorted to buying plane components from local farms. The mysterious Kandahar Beast is one whose development was made covert. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division designed this drone, known as the Sentinel RQ-170 UAV, or simply the RAF for the U.S. Air Force and the CIA. Despite these drones actively monitoring global hotspots and gathering sensitive information, very little is known about them to the point that the U.S. Air Force has been tight-lipped about their details. The RQ-170 Sentinel, essentially a single-engine flying wing, had a heavier takeoff weight compared to the ERQ-3 Dark Star, coming in at 8,500 pounds. Interestingly, it lacked conventional stealth features like zigzag-edged landing gear, sharp leading edges, and exposed wing exhaust. Some media sources suggested that these unusual design choices were intentional, made to address concerns about potential operational losses linked to the single-engine design and to prevent the disclosure of advanced stealth technology. Another noteworthy feature that caught the attention of enthusiasts was its light gray color, which suggested it could reach altitudes of up to 50,000 feet. 
In the United States, darker colors are often used at higher altitudes to enhance stealth. This unmanned aerial vehicle was deployed to Afghanistan in 2005, and when it was spotted near Kandahar International Airport, it earned the nickname Beast of Kandahar. In 2011, during Operation Neptune's Spear, at least one of these drones played a role in the operation that led to the death of Osama bin Laden at his compound. In the same year, Iranian forces managed to capture one of these elusive drones after it strayed approximately 140 miles from the Iranian border, likely during a surveillance mission related to Iran's nuclear program. All these just go to show that a lot of weapons can be developed in secret, even to high-ranking officials. While much of the information about projects like Aurora and other rumored aircraft remains based on circumstantial or speculative evidence, experts believe that technological progress has probably matched the initial goals of these programs. This means that advanced and covert aircraft projects may still be in existence, operating confidentially, which continues to spark curiosity and fascination among individuals interested in military technology and aviation. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below.